Good morning, hope you're having an awesome day. Today I just wanted to share with you what I'm currently doing to drive revenue in the lead up to Christmas. And I'm also using this tactic to try and ascend customers who are below the spend level of our top 20% customers. And I'm doing it all with no ad spend as well. And it's, a, it's an activity you could do today that might help you make more sales and bring in more money as well. And if you don't know who I am, I'm just a boring guy wearing a hat, kidding. My name is Jacob Cook Tate. I'm a retail store manager slash marketer. And I make these videos to hopefully help you make more money, learn something new, get better at marketing and grow with you on that process. If that sounds like a journey you're in for, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't know, so you don't miss what I post next. And let's crack on. So the reason I'm doing this activity in the lead up to Christmas is because about two weeks ago, I re-ran our customer reports and it was quite interesting. What I saw was that 20% of our customer base was leading to about 68% of all revenue. And that meant that 80% of our customers roughly weren't pulling their weight, haha. <laughs> so it got me thinking, what ways can we send everyone who isn't in a in the top 20%, how can we get them to the spend level that these customers have reached? And I thought about it and wrote down ideas for about 20 to 30 minutes. I wanted to call each customer and give them something like of value over the phone. And the first group I wanted to start with was anyone would spend under $200 who hadn't shopped with us within the last, or who had shopped with us within the last three years. There was no method to this other than they're fairly recent, so their phone numbers should still be valid, and they probably remember who we are, and they're also the bottom of the list. So if I get told to fuck off lots of times, I know not to do it with more valuable lists. But in any case, I knew that we would have to give big, fast value for them to be pleased from hearing, be pleased to hear from us. And the whole idea behind it is the law of reciprocation. Fundamentally, humans are wired to return value when they receive value. Think free samples at the supermarket. People spend more money per shop when they receive a free sample. And other reasons offering big fast value to these people works is because it, le it lets them sample our service at no cost. If they see I care with each step in the process, they might think, huh, these guys are pretty awesome. Like, why not shop there? They cared enough to call me even when I really shop there. And they might also enjoy the process of dealing with us and want to repeat that feeling again and again. And it also builds a relationship. These people haven't dealt with us as much as our top 20% customers. So they don't understand the value our service provides versus a competitor, for instance. It also gives them a few touch points to establish a relationship and build that trust with them. But I still had no idea. Um, I still had to come up with an offer as well. So. Trust me when I say my mind was running in circles trying to come up with a whole bunch of different things I could offer. And eventually I settled on an installation voucher valued at $149. Because our recent free installation promos have been working quite well, I thought this kind of offer would perform pretty well as well. An installation of appliance is a service people usually pay for, which can cost anywhere between $99 and $349 in our market. So this offer hit the brief of big fast value. It's something I could give quickly and that provides a lot of value. And no one likes getting calls from someone trying to sell them something. So I really wanted to call and give something valuable instead. And my plan was to call, offer the voucher, collect the email address. Doing these calls also helps us build our email list, which is great because then we can remarket to these people more consistently, build the relationship further and deposit even more goodwill into the relationship. Anyway, I've worked through the first small fraction of the call list and here are my stats so far. I've still got a lot of calls to make, but these are my stats currently. So pickup rate has been 36%, voucher take rate is 53%. And if I scale out those numbers or scale out those stats over the entire list, I should be able to give away about 120 vouchers. And then if say 50% of people end up using the voucher, which expires in June next year, then that would mean 60 vouchers get claimed. And let's say for instance, the average spend on a appliance by those customers is $1,000, then that would equal approximately $60,000 in revenue generated. Now obviously I haven't got the data yet to say what the voucher use rate is. 50% is my estimation just to illustrate what may what it may lead to. Um, it may end up being more or it may end up being less. But the cool thing is that this is just the first list. There are a shitload more people below the spend level of the top 20%. So it gives me a lot of people to call and deposit goodwill and value with. Doing these calls also only cost me time as well. There's no ad spend, just me on the phone. I could do these calls faster with an auto dialer, but as well, but I mean, at the moment, I'm just calling from my phone manually. This is the script I'm currently using on each call. Feel free to use it or adjust it to your own offer. Pretty much it's just ring, ring. Hey, is that blank? Yeah, who's this? Hey Blank, it's just Jacob from XYZ Company, how are you? Good thanks and yourself? Yeah, great, thank you. 
Hey, I just had a quick moment in, to call in between customers here. And the reason I'm calling is because we're doing a little bit of a giveaway in the lead up to Christmas. You might know that one of the most annoying things about buying appliances is the cost to get them installed. So we're giving away a couple of appliance installation vouchers, which can be used for any appliance purchased at Newbolts. Is a voucher something you'd want for either yourself or to gift to someone at Christmas time? They usually respond yes or no. If no, I just say no problem, hope all is well, have a great day, get off the phone. If yes, I say cool, um, I can get one sent over to you, what's the best email address to get one sent to? And then they'll give me the email address. Sweet, I'll get one sent out to you in the next 10 minutes. If it doesn't show up, feel free to contact me back here. This is my personal number. Have a great day, get off the phone type of thing. I think the script may change as I get more reps through, but the biggest things I'm focusing on when making the calls are giving big fast value, state the reason I'm calling and offer something valuable quickly, coming off not excited but still happy to be calling them and talking to them. I naturally speak quite fast, so I'm focusing on slowing down my cadence and speaking clearly as well, making sure I pronounce my words properly, don't try and remove as many ums and ahs as I can. I also don't want to keep them long so, so they don't get annoyed. Anyway, that's what I'm currently doing to boost revenue in the lead up to Christmas and also helping to ascend customers below the spend level of our top 20%. And I'm doing it all with no ad spend as well. Hopefully that's given you something to think about and maybe deploy with your offer or within your business. I always try to think about ways I can give more and de deposit value and goodwill into a relationship with a customer. And this is just one of the ways I'm currently trying to achieve that. I believe the more we give, the more we receive back. And in any exchange, usually one party has to offer value first in order to build a relationship. And I don't mind being the one that does that. And if you like the video, make sure to smash the like button. Thank you for tuning in. If you have any of your cool ideas of how you think this could work for you, or um, let me know in the comments. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Subscribe if you like to stay up to date with what I post next. Thank you for giving me a small slice of your attention. I hope this provides a return on the time you did invest. I'll see you next time. Bye.